Hi, I'm dermatologist Dr. Cynthia Bailey, and today I'm going to talk about uh, hand care and dry, chapped hands. So, hands take a lot of abuse. We use them all day long like we've got gloves on, and they get chapped, they itch, they get, the skin gets tight, it starts to crack, and it can even fissure. It's more likely to be a problem from fall to spring because we're all avidly washing our hands trying not to get everybody else's cold and flu germs. But hand uh, dermatitis is a problem all year long, especially for people that do a lot of wet work. Their hands are in and out of water like restaurant workers, healthcare workers, etc. And what's going on with hand dermatitis is that the skin of the hands actually loses the natural lipids because of exposure to harsh chemicals, solvents, wet work, um, weather, etc. So the treatment is to actually reverse all of that. And what that means is washing hands in such a way that we're not overstripping the lipids and then locking all that moisture in so that the barrier can heal by using effective moisturizers that aren't too annoying and greasy. So to wash your hands, I like to teach people public and private side of the hands because the public side on the palm is thicker and can take a little bit more abuse. Hand dermatitis often starts on the back where the skin is thinner and or between the fingers. When you wash your hands, you use warm, preferably not steamy hot water because steamy hot water is going to strip your oils really efficiently just like it gets the grease off the pots and pans. You don't want that with your hands. So, you use a gentle cleanser on your hands, preferably a foaming cleanser. The foaming cleansers will distribute the lather more evenly instead of having thick globs of it that are hard to rinse off. So you lather up um, the uh, public part of your hands. You only lather up the private part if you really did get them into something that needs to be washed off. And then you need to rinse that hand uh, cleanser off entirely. If you leave some on, like if you used a globular cleanser, it's going to continue to strip the oils after you've toweled off. That residue of soap will continue to pull oils out of your skin. So you rinse really well, making certain to rinse behind your uh, rings because hand dermatitis often starts there, making certain to rinse in the web spaces of your hands because that's another site where hand dermatitis often starts. And then uh, towel off and immediately you need to put a moisturizer on. Hand moisturizers are a combination of watery ingredients, oily ingredients, and humectants, which are often glycerin and or lanolin in hand care products. You can even find hand care products that have protective ingredients in them, such as dimethicone, which can act sort of like a protective shield on your hands. And that's actually, that combination is actually one of my uh, favorite. Um, and you want to moisturize your hands as often as you can um, to help heal and prevent hand dermatitis. Um, and you want to minimize the use of hand sanitizers. The alcohol in the hand sanitizers will continue to pull the lipids out of your skin. Of course, if you have to use them, you have to use them, but ideally you want to try to wash your hands uh, with gentle uh, hand cleansers more than hand sanitize your hands. Um, and you want to avoid antibacterial soaps. The FDA has said that antibacterial soaps, which contain triclosan, are of no value in preventing infection. And in fact, um, there's some controversy about using them at all. And often they're in products that are uh, drying and irritating. So avoid antibacterial soaps. And if you are going to go put your hands into circumstances that's going to continue to pull the lipids out, such as doing a whole bunch of dishes or using paint thinners, you want to wear gloves to try to protect your hands from um, those uh, circumstances that will cost you uh, skin lipids and break your barrier down. And if your hands are just in terrible shape and you've got fissures and it hurts, uh, you can give them a real therapeutic treatment by uh, soaking them at night for five minutes in water, drying them off, and then really uh, covering them with bag balm, which is an old time uh, remedy for horses, hooves, and cows' udders and human hands, and uh, cover them with cotton gloves and uh, go to sleep, and you wake up in the morning and your hands are softer, and it's the beginning of healing the fissures. Know that once your hands have broken out with hand dermatitis, you've got months and months of good care of your hand skin uh, for them to heal uh, because the barrier on your hand skin is very, very thick. So I hope that information helped you. Uh, if it did, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for listening. Bye.